one, welcome to VW Life. Well, here we are again, gentlemen. Yes. Uh, thank you guys for joining us today. Oh my gosh, Matt Jackson, another adventure. <laughs> another adventure in the early morn. <laughs> here we go on the road again. We are on our way to the Big D, and we do mean Dallas. Yeah, up to Dallas. Three hours north of here, we've got a little uh, VW. Yes, a little 67 that uh, uh, we're going to go check out. A Beetle that uh, we got a lead on. Sounds like a two-owner car. Been sitting in a garage for 20-something years sight unseen yeah we haven't seen it all we know it is is that it exists <laughs> yes we have uh, we have no idea we know that the rear bumper got hit it could be a fiat for all we it, know it could be i think it's a volkswagen though join us because this is the mystery day today i mean we've we've done we've known what we're getting we've re, we've rescued martin's beetle uh, who knows what we're getting into yeah let's uh let's drive to dallas to buy a volkswagen <laughs> what else are we gonna do today <laughs> Exciting moment, the anticipation, always not knowing what we're going to be getting into. Yeah, we've been driving uh, almost three hours now, and we're getting close to the to the location, and we still haven't seen what these cars look like. No, we have no idea. There are no pictures, descriptions are very minimal. We're excited, and you're, and it's. I guess there might be some anxiousness in there. We don't know what's going to happen when we get there, so I'm going to have the camera kind of hidden but we want to get the story from the guy too yes so that's going to be a big thing we know this is an older gentleman he's owned these things uh the 67 for what uh 48, 48 years or at least and so we want to but we want to chat with him first as far as uh get a get a feel with him uh, with the camera situation so hopefully he's going to be open to that because i really 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 want to get his story because to me that's what that's what this is about right here is this is saving the Volkswagens or two of them and and putting them back on the road but more importantly is the story that we can capture from these and then pass it on because that's the best thing to me on these is the stories of these cars because that's what makes them so unique let's go let's, let's uh, we're almost there yeah, it's getting close so stay with us the the, the tension is building It's got an AC system in there. And there's a heater covered in stuff. It's gonna need a new headlighter. I don't think there's much rust. All right, so we closed the deal on we the Beatles. We did close the deal. And uh, we've got some work. We do got some work to do, Matt Jackson. We've got all that stuff, and then we've got to move all this stuff out of the way. Well, let me start with this right here. It's on wheels. It's behind this door. Uh, we've got all this to move. We've got this trailer to, that's broken down. We closed the deal, and we're taking one home with us. That's the plan, Matt Jackson. Are you excited? Oh, I know how much work is going to go into this. Man, I hope people are liking what they're seeing and they're subscribing to see this VW life that we live. The story behind this one was so awesome, and so we're going to start getting busy. Come on, Matt Jackson. What's going to be like? All right. 
There's all this to move right here. This trailer's got a flat, so we'll have to get that taken care of. All right, we lucked out and got some, got some old air, huh? Yeah. All right, we've already got this main area cleared. So these uh, sawhorses and uh, toolboxes need to go next. Well, uh, everybody out there in VW Lifeland, Gary here with Mr. David Peacock. Mr. Peacock, nice to have you on VW Life today, sir. Glad to be here. We have the pleasure today of being at Mr. Peacock's shop up here in Farmer's Branch, Texas. We are uh, have uncovered Old Spot, a 67 Beetle that uh, Mr. Peacock bought 72, 73, somewhere in there, right? Well, let's go ahead. Tell us, tell us your story on Old Spot. Old Spot was my daily driver that I would use to go back and forth to work or go just about anywhere. And uh, it was my favorite automobile. And uh, I hate to see it go. Old Spot means a lot to me. But the reason why I'm gonna call it Old Spot was because I started cleaning it one day in a car wash. <laughs> and uh, some of the paint flicked off and uh, it lifts a few spots. Consequently, the name Old Spot appeared. And eventually, the paint is all gone. <laughs> I'm telling you, all. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, there's a few spots of blue left. It's, but it's still Old Spot. That's right. It is still Old Spot. You uh, you worked at Braniff International Airways when they opened DFW, you, you were telling me, and then you would drive this over here. How far a daily drive was that, do you think? How far many miles was that? I think it was a probably 13, 14 miles. Now, one of the unique things about Old Spot here is it has an air conditioner. It did have. Now, did you put that in, or was that in there no, when you got it? No, it was in there when I got it. So that was a dealer-installed AC. Was, I don't know who installed it. I guess it was the dealer. And it also had a gas heater, and uh, which, by the way, is sitting right we there. Make, it's over there in that can. we got to make sure we grab that little and, jewel. Uh, I didn't use the heater much because here in Texas, the temperatures didn't get that severe. And when you use that heater, it... It gobbles the gas. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know having an air conditioner up here in uh, North Texas probably made a little bit of difference sometimes, that didn't it? That did. That made a hell of a difference. <laughs> <laughs> now, also sitting over next to Old Spots, a convertible. Tell us a little bit about that convertible. That convertible is uh, what it was a property of uh, my wife's sister, and I don't know where she got it. She drove it around for a long time. I don't know why she got rid of it. I don't know why she wanted to get rid of it, but I told her all the time, whenever she got ready to get rid of it, let me know. And she eventually did. So I bought it and we used it also, in addition to Old Spot. It's amazing. It's gonna need a, a little top work and maybe go through the electrical a little bit, but brakes and the, and the works like that. But the cool thing is, it's got the original fuel injection still on it, so we're gonna learn to we're gonna learn how to work on fuel injection here on on Volkswagens. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Well, I cannot tell you how much we appreciate your uh, opening up to us today and letting us come into your shop and take these these things that are man, these things been in your family a long time, and 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 we understand that and respect that and. That's what the that's what the Volkswagen world's about. Is we understand what these things are, just like you are, and the, and, the, and what they mean to you and your family. Everybody out there, this is what this is what stories are all about. This is why we do what we do for stories like this. Met Mr. Peacock and his the stories on these Volkswagens. This is what we want to keep alive. These stories because these cars are unique. These cars become members of families. I mean, you don't do. you don't go. Not many people name their Toyota. They don't name a Toyota. Uh, give it a name usually. Mm -hmm. they, they'll yeah. name a Volkswagen. <laughs> yes, that's true. <laughs> so we appreciate you uh, letting us uh, pass on an old spot to us and. 
and what it means. We really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Okay, so now we just need to come come around the fence yeah and really over there awesome. oh you guys already got it set up yeah jake so that was all the old man <laughs> gary you're on point bro <laughs> it's Thanks. like you've done this before you have man jackson <laughs> look all at right. that gary let me let me before we do this gary look at that <laughs> look at that tell me what, what hey, when hey, you look at that hey. it, it's 100 degrees out here i got goosebumps is that just like that's a patina monster <laughs> oh my god can you <laughs> Look at that thing. It's so beautiful. Dude, it's 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 so beautiful. <laughs> it's the most beautiful beetle I've ever seen. Oh my god. Cuz it's a, look at that. It is unmolested. Dude, I am not doing anything to it. We're going to run this thing as uh -oh, is. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. Look, it's so beautiful. All right, I think Jake's ready to go get lunch. So let's <laughs> get this going. Clear on this side. Just clear. Go 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 go. go, go, go. You got to cut it more to the left. More to the left. It'll make that a video. You're looking good here. That's almost all. One. Oh. Hold on, let me get him right One, two, two three, three heaves. One, two, three heaves. Oh, Alright. One, two, three heaves. How are we looking on that side? Great. We're great over here too. Okay, ready? Here's the hard part. Ready? One, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. One, DY did good three hours on the highway. Yeah, good little tow. And uh, of course, you know, the good things is, is we got the trailers only like a 14 foot with a two foot dovetail, so it's not overbearing. And DY holds, I mean, beetles aren't heavy, so that's exactly, the, that's why we got this rig, you know? It's not, we're not, we're not carrying F-150s. Nope. So it's perfect for little beetles and little buses. So we'll unhook it, put it over there, and we don't want to put it in a shop yet because it needs to be cleaned out. It's got a bunch of rat poop and stuff like that in there and that's the famous texas burn yep when mr peacock was uh he went to take it to a, he called it a two-bit car wash a high pressure wash and he went to wash it and it just like started pulling off this vw blue l633 i think it was so they ended up giving the name you can see that old i mean here's an old spot you can see they put in parentheses on both sides their old spot so that's pretty cool and look at actually where they wrote it it saved it actually protected the paint yeah you can still so that's where the they wrote it there's the quotations all it's uh, it's on spot. both it's on both sides yeah, both quarters there Pretty and fine. he said that he had a cb radio in it and the 
and the guys on the CB would know yeah. the old spot when they when saw he was it. going to and from work. They go, hey, "There's an old spot." They'd say, "On the you can see they got a hole of what the intent on the top there." So and we got the CB, the uh, Midland CB that he used. Yeah. So we'll put it back in there. Be clear. Oh, Matt oh, Jackson. Whoops, that's original. God, it was OG. It was original once. Whoops. Well, boys, here we are. Another one saved. <laughs> Another one. Well, it's a, saved might be a little uh, strong of a word. It will be, but we at least it's uh, it's home. It's here at the, the wayward home for lost Volkswagens here at uh, VW Life. So now the fun part begins. We're going to uh, you go through and see what we got. Kind of get a lay of the land on this thing. Uh, it's going to take a little bit of a little bit of work to get it going. I mean, we've got brakes, tires, motor. Brakes, tires, motor, fuel system. Nothing too major. Uh, we'll we'll pull this motor and then probably stick that 1600 single port we have in it. You'll be there when we get this thing running the first time um, in 40 years. Yeah, oh, yeah. Parked in 1980. First time in 40 years that it'll be on the road. Yeah. So this is the first time it's seen the light of day since '91. Since '91. It's been in the shed. A shop for 29 years things are gonna start happening to it we're excited yep and we'll show you the whole process we are here for you guys the VW community that's why we do this man we share this with you our stories our love for these things and this is just a continuation of a love story that we got from uh, mr. Peacock today and his wife and, and how awesome they were to, to share he shared his story with us it's gonna have a second life and it, it's its first life served a family well so that's the coolest thing the stories we heard about the windshield and mm -hmm. and that and, and him going to work at brand F, you know at DFW I mean just some of the stories and the history not only of this car but as a history of a family the history of Texas and 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 and, and the expansion of everything it's just an amazing thing and that's what this is this that's what we we want VW Life to be. We want it to be about stories. Yeah, I mean, you know, Martin's car after 16 years coming home, and and this this '67. The fact that it's hasn't seen the line day in 29 years. Hasn't been on the road in 40. And we're gonna change that. We're gonna bring it to life, and we cannot wait to share it with you guys, man. That's what it's all about. So thank y'all so much for, oh, and, for uh, everything. Tomorrow we're going back to get that '78. So oh yeah, that'll be on the channel too. It's as original as the day is long. It's it's there in the shop right next to this where it had, they had set for all those years so it's coming home too I always wanted a convertible well here you go my hair blue oh yeah you look good with your convertible oh, can you imagine daddy martin's beard blowing in the convertible oh yeah as always if you want to support the channel people always ask if you want stickers or shirts there's a link below if you want to get any vw life merch yes make sure you buy some merch we yeah. have all kinds of stuff we have tjk shirts vw life shirts harvest shirts uh relive the great memories of the orange menace yeah, yeah. Who, who would who would not want an orange menace shirt and if you just want to join the channel, support the channel, there's a join button and you can help out there. Yes, please do that. Tell your aunts, tell your uncles, tell everybody you know about VW Life. Tell your aunts, tell your uncles, tell everybody you know about <laughs> Thank you guys for joining us today here on VW Life. Thank you all so much for the comments. We appreciate it and we will see you guys soon.